Herman Webster Mudgett, who would later be known as H. H. Holmes, was born on May 16, 1861, in Gilmanton, New Hampshire. From a young age, Holmes exhibited signs of a manipulative and deceitful nature. His intelligence and charm masked his darker tendencies, allowing him to easily deceive those around him. Holmes graduated from the University of Michigan's Department of Medicine and Surgery in 1884. It was during this period that he began to engage in fraudulent activities, such as stealing cadavers and using them to make false insurance claims. After moving to Chicago in 1886, Holmes began his most infamous chapter. He took over a drugstore and its owner mysteriously disappeared. Using the accumulated funds, Holmes designed and constructed a three-story building later known as the Murder Castle. This fortress-like structure was a labyrinthine house of horrors equipped with soundproof rooms, hidden passageways, and trapdoors leading to secret chambers. It also contained chutes that Holmes used to transport his victims' bodies to the basement, where he would perform gruesome experiments and dispose of their remains. The World's Columbian Exposition in 1893 brought many visitors to Chicago, providing Holmes with a steady stream of potential victims. Under the guise of offering lodging, employment, or other services, he lured many individuals to his murder castle, only to never see them leave. Holmes' charm and cunning enabled him to kill with impunity for a time, but his criminal activities eventually caught up with him. Holmes was arrested in 1894 in Boston on charges of horse theft. During his incarceration, detectives began to unravel his web of deceit, leading to the discovery of his numerous murders. Under interrogation, Holmes confessed to 27 killings, though experts believe the actual number could be significantly higher. On May 7, 1896, H. H. Holmes was executed by hanging in Philadelphia, bringing an end to the life of one of America's most notorious serial killers. His story remains a chilling example of how charm and intelligence can mask the darkest of human behaviors.